Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I know everything was super, hold on, let me turn that a little bit higher. I know the invite went out super last minute, but this is a conversation I've been wanting to have for a while. Um, oh, and I'm getting some feedback. So let me know if you guys can hear me, if I need to adjust the audio before we dive into the 10 business tips I'm gonna be sharing with everyone to help you all survive coronavirus and this crazy pandemic. Oh, that's really weird. I'm getting a ton of feedback. So let me turn that off. Ooh. Okay, that's better. Everything sound good? Let me know how you guys are doing. Um, I figure we might as well go live. Most of us are stuck at home, um, dying for the opportunity to connect with one another. So let's go live instead of me just filming this. I know we're compromising on picture quality, maybe audio quality, but we get community with this. And if you guys like it, um, let me show put a little the chat up so I can see what you're saying. If you guys like this, we can do this more regularly. If not, we can go back to the old way of doing things, but I also want this to be interactive. So if you have a question, you can just um, ask it and I'll answer it. So I think up first, the most important thing, and this is like advice for me, just as much as it is for you, but you see all of these memes out there that are like, if you're not using all this time that you've been stuck in a house, that means that you never wanted it in the first place. That's not the case. We are dealing with something so unprecedented, something that nobody was ready for. If you are taking time to care for yourself and to manage your mental health, then keep on doing that. Don't feel less than, don't feel smaller because you aren't out there hustling and grinding even though the world is, is burning outside of your door. Don't make anyone guilty into feeling bad with how you're dealing with what we all are dealing with. Like on a personal note, I was super, super depressed. Like the first week of official lockdown here in Los Angeles was my birthday and we did <laughs> my fiance did his best but I was super super down didn't get anywhere near as much stuff done as I could have and I was feeling bad about it because I'm the queen of hey girl because I'm the queen of get out there and push it and grind and go hard but but this is something that brought me brought me to my knees so don't make anyone make you feel bad about how you're dealing with all of this. That's the first thing. And I will add a second part to that, which is you have until the end of this week. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put a time limit on it for you. You have until the end of this week to get to go ahead, sleep in, go ahead, be sad and all that stuff. But you need to start taking action by the end of this week. And you need to make sure that you knock off every single one of these pieces of advice that I'm going to be sharing with you here. So in today's conversation, we've just got the mindset thing out of the way. I'm glad you caught me live too. Hey guys, can you do me a favor? If you are watching, um, hop in the comment section and let me know what city you're watching from. Let's see um, how far reaching we are in our little hustle community. We need to create a name for this. If we're going to do this more regularly, which I would like to. You know, I got all the time in the world, <laughs> like you do. Um, but if we do end up doing this more regularly, it would be really dope for, for us to have some sort of like community name, some sort of club. But hello, Atlanta. Hello, Milwaukee. We just got the mindset part out of the way. I'm going to be talking about doing a numbers audit, being transparent with your team and giving them options if there are options available. And I'll let you guys know what I did with, with my team. Um, don't time out. Come on, iPhone. I'm also going to be talking about um, eliminating vanity projects. We're going to be whittling everything down to like bare bones as much as possible. We're going to talk about pivoting, pivoting. I always say this is one of the most beneficial skills that you can have as an entrepreneur in business is being able to freaking pivot. And this coronavirus is forcing everyone to do that everyone to do that so we're going to dive deeper into pivoting and how you need to make sure that you're showing up to serve how you can reposition yourself to become essential i know you guys are feeling stuck out there but you don't have to i was just talking um 
to my fiance about a friend of his that transitioned his t-shirt company into a mask company. So what wasn't essential before now is essential. Now that masks are being mandated, now they have a way to keep their bills paid and keep the lights on. And they're probably going to do a lot more business than they did selling t-shirts because people actually need masks. These are actually essential. And there is a way that all of you guys can become essential or can make your business essential adjacent. We're going to get to that. Super excited about that because I, I know it's going to be super helpful. Um, polishing up your web presence. That's pretty straightforward. Doubling down on your local community and your marketing. Super important right now when everyone is trying to do their part to support members of their community. Um, a content plan showing up, choosing your perspective and moving your body. Okay, so that is the rundown for the live stream we're about to have here. Hey, Anna Alicia. So cool to be able to connect with all of you guys live. I've been doing um, content forever. You guys know that if you're subscribed to me, um, but to be able to like have back and forth with all of you, I think that's super, super dope. Like Anna Alicia, I know that you've been in the comments of like all of my videos for over a year and I'm so grateful for you. So let's hop into that up first. Let, if anyone knows how to stop your iPhone from timing this freaking screen down, I just don't even, I just don't even understand. It's such an expensive device. Why is it doing that? But before we dive into the rest of the list, today's video sponsor, hello sponsorships is a company called Simply Air Masks. I'm not gonna put this on because I'm wearing a bunch of makeup, but they have these air masks, filters. These are N95 masks. These are cloth masks that come with the extra filter and they're reusable and rewashable and all that stuff. So that's um, super, super dope that they're sponsoring this video. How does that work into my entrepreneurial audience? They're giving anyone the opportunity to sign up as an affiliate and make 20% of every single sale. So head to simplyairmask.com. I think it's slash affiliate. I know the link is in my description, but if you know people that are looking for masks, which as of yesterday with the CDC saying that everyone needs to be wearing them, should be everyone you know, um, why not put yourself in a position to win while also helping out those people that need that? Um, I know people are really apprehensive about selling right now while everything is just so crazy, but at the end of the day, people need your service people need your product, people need your business, people need these masks. So if you aren't showing up, if you're being too meek or afraid to show up and serve, then you, you're doing everyone a disservice. Not only are you cheating yourself out of an opportunity to grow your business and to keep on thriving, but you're cheating all of the people that actually need your service. So don't let anyone guilt you into not staying in your bag, even while all of this stuff is happening. Don't do that. Um, let me not cough. <laughs> wow. Okay. And live stream fun. My computer's about to die. Give me two seconds. I'm going to run over there. I'm going to plug it in. Then we're going to dive into the lesson, but actually I have a few more minutes. Numbers audit. What you need to do. This is what I did this weekend. I know we're all over the place, right? <laughs> Numbers audit. Go through your Bank of America bill. Go through whatever your bank is. Every single charge. You need to look at every single charge and you need to make sure that every dollar going out makes sense. Do not be paying for the second um, Netflix account. Even if it is just $10, we are in a recession. That $10 counts. Um, I did this over the weekend and I think I saved myself like 250 bucks, which over the course of a year is a few thousand dollars. A few thousand dollars, once we're in the midst of this recession, is going to mean the difference between you living indoors and you not. The difference between you feeding your kids or you not. So go through and these minor expenses that you didn't mind before, back when everything was rosy and everything was booming and doing so great, go through all of that and cancel it. You're not going to Planet Fitness anymore. I know it's only $10, but guess what? You're not going, you're not going. And over the course of a year, that's over a hundred bucks that should be in your account, that you should be making work for you, making the money make you more money. So you need to do an audit, a personal audit and a professional audit. For every single dollar that is going out of your business, you need to stop it at the door and be like, hold up. You know there's corona out there, right? <laughs> 
unless you're going to bring me back more money, you, you need to stay. You, you need to sit right here. That's how you need to be treating your money, like how you would be treating your kids trying to go out there and party. Ah, ah, ah. Hold on, $5. Where are you going? If it isn't to make more money, the money should not be going out. Now is not the time for vanity projects. Now is not the time for <clears throat> keeping that person around just because you don't want to go through the uncomfortable phase of having to actually fire them. Like now is the time to get so lean and so cheap that it might make you a little uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, if you're not willing to do the hard things now, if you're not willing to make the cuts that are necessary right now for your business to survive, you are going to fail. You're going, and it's it's not, you don't have to end up that way. That's the whole point of this. So make sure that you're auditing. You need to do a full on audit. Act like you're the tax man that wants to know what's been going on here. Get in those numbers, pull up your bank statements, go line by freaking line. Every single recurring charge, every single recurring charge, if it is not essential, if it is not absolutely necessary, it's gotta go. It has got to go. If you need that service again, you can always sign back up. But right now, they're counting on you not minding $5, $10, $15, $25, leaving your bank every month. That's what they're counting on, but but that's that's just not what we're doing. Hello, recession. This is this is the new normal. Okay. So once you get through um going through all of that stuff, you gotta calculate your burn rate. <clears throat> and what that means is you need to see the money coming in and you need to see the money going out. Based on all of that math, you need to know how much more time you have in your business before you are at zero. Like that's your burn rate. So say it costs you $2,000 a month to run your business, but you make an average of $4,000 a month, but now suddenly, suddenly you might have $10,000 in the bank, but you aren't making any money. If it takes you two months to run your business or $2,000 a month to run your business, what does that mean? It means you have five months to figure out everything until you're burnt to a crisp. Okay. That's the burn rate. Look at your numbers. Look at the money going out. That has to go out. We're talking about your rent at home. We're talking about your electric bill. We're talking about your car payment. If it's absolutely essential, if it's absolutely essential, but you need to tally all of that information up. You need to see how much money you have in your bank and how much money you have coming in and be able to precisely tell how much time you have to keep on pushing forward exactly how you are without anything changing. That like, as uncomfortable as it might be, having numbers is knowledge and knowledge is power because it gives you the opportunity to do something about it now. So if you're looking at your numbers and, and you did this and you've calculated your burn rate and you're like, holy, I'm trying not to swear, <laughs> trying, but holy poop. Uh, you're like, oh my gosh, we have two months to do something. We have two months before we are gonna be out in the street. At least now you know. And now you have two months to figure something the F out. I am working on a program that's gonna teach you guys how to launch a profitable work from home business in a matter of seven days. I'm excited to be sharing that with you guys. But um, like I said, I've been super depressed. And what I could have gotten done in a week has been, it's I'm just trying to make sure that I do it the right way, that I give you guys the information that you need to really, really build and really make money fast like I have been able to do and like I've taught myself to. So I'm super excited to share that with all of you guys. Um, and I know it's gonna be absolutely necessary. The more, um, I feel like the more we get into what is now our reality, the more it's becoming apparent that having a side hustle isn't, it's not a, um, it's not a luxury anymore. It's not a thing you should do. It's something that you absolutely need to do. You need to. Hey, sorry about that. What in the actual F? Let me know, did the video cut out because my screen did something stupid? Maybe if I unplug this, it'll stop acting like that. But anywho, um, let me use that opportunity. If you guys have any questions right now, let me know. I'm going to plug this in and I'll be back in literally one second. Hey Demi, thanks for joining me live guys. If you haven't already, drop your city in the comment section. Um, we're about to talk about um, employees and what I did when I 
realized what the burn rate was gonna be and how we were gonna have um, a lot less work for my team members. I'll let you guys know how I handled it um, and give you guys some tips on that too. But let me grab this cord. Eek. Nope, not wearing pants. Sprinted. And we're back. All right. Okay, good. Still here. Okay, so once you figure out all of that stuff, um, and then also you need to make sure that every dollar you have coming in, you know where it's coming from. Sorry. I told you. I ran. <laughs> but you need to know where every dollar is coming in from, and then only focus your energy on whatever those activities or marketing things, whatever you've been doing that's actually making money is the only thing that you should be doing now. I catch my breath. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, sorry, my screen keeps being really, really weird. Okay. So next, be 100% transparent with your team. So we have, for my hair company, we have an office located up in the Bay Area, and that was one of the first cities that the, they actually mandated the shutdown. So it was like on Wednesday, we got some emails where it was like, hey, they're suggesting nobody leave. And then on Friday, they were like, you're not allowed to leave. It's it's like a misdemeanor if you leave your house for anything that isn't essential and hair extensions is not essential. So what that meant was um, tens of thousands of dollars of inventory trapped in the office um, that can't be fulfilled, that no one can go to the office to get out, that's just there. Um, and it also meant that all of the employees that work up there would no longer have any tasks to do. So before it was like mandated, when it was just suggested, I just had a conversation with my team members. What, like the way that I look at these members of my team, it's not like an employee relationship. It's like you are a grown up and you're showing up every day and giving me your time that you'll never get back to help me make my dreams come true. I don't see it as anyone is less than, I see it as these people are absolutely necessary for me to continue pushing forward and, and they're doing me a favor. So instead of me being like, you need to show up, you need to do this, like that's not at all it. It was like, how do you feel about this? What does it look like when you go home? Do you have people that you'd be putting at risk? Cause it's, it's not worth it. It is not worth it for you to put your family at risk over, it's just not. So that's the conversation I had with members of my team. Um, of course, they're not in the office. They're helping out with logistical things online, but their hours have been reduced and it really, really, really sucks. The reason we're live streaming now because my videographer can't risk getting a misdemeanor charge, leaving his house to come and film a vlog with me. Hello, lighting. Hi, if the audio sucks, it's, it's because he's at home. Hey, if you're watching this, <laughs> Kirill, we miss you. We need you. Eventually, we'll be back. But for now, this is just what it is. I was 1000% transparent. Look, this is what the plan was. This is how we make the money necessary for your check. And that's not happening anymore. So how, wh what do you think? Do you have any ideas? How can we best work it? Yes, we can do some things remote over here. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's build some processes around that. Yes, we can do that over here. But being 1000% transparent with your team is it's essential. It's so important, not just as like a business owner, but like as a good person, give these people an opportunity. If you aren't going to be able to continue supporting them, to continue allowing them to put food on their table and to keep a roof over their heads. If you know, if you've done that first task, if you did your numbers on it and you know, you're not making enough money for, for that person, don't, don't, is, is it cower down? Don't shrink down. Don't hide out of the fear of disappointing them. I know it sucks. I cried, I could. <laughs> so 
I know it sucks, but you know, at the end of the day, are you gonna put them in a position where, where because you didn't wanna do the hard thing now in two months when everything just burns down because you're not showing up as the entrepreneur that you need to, now it's, it's hard for me to articulate, but I hope that you guys are, are understanding where I'm coming from and super upsetting. I, <laughs> I was gonna do this live stream on Friday and then I was like going over my notes and everything I needed to talk about and then I started doing this. <laughs> it's not helpful, not at all helpful, but I mean, at the end of the day, I gave myself a week, a week of being quiet, a week of being like, woe is me, blah, blah, blah. But now it's time to show up. Even if I do end up crying during this live stream, at least you're getting the information that you need so that you can take the action that you need to take to save your business and save your, so, so yeah, I'm super passionate about entrepreneurship and, and it's never just dollars and cents. It's always about the impact. <clears throat> So, so yeah, sorry, let me get a second. Gather myself. Come on, Coco. <laughs> By the way, shout out to my nails lady. Um, I know that everyone has been talking about how the, the nails and hair and all that. Shout out to Sray for coming through with this, this um, Lulis unit. I can slap her on, take her off. She's doing fine during the pandemic and shout out to my nail people for coming through okay all right so be transparent with your team do not blindside them don't blindside them you have to show up and be willing to do the hard things so next on the list this is number four um number one was give yourself grace number two do the numbers audit calculate that burn rate and only focus on the money that is coming in whatever you're doing that's making that money that is what every member of your team should be focused on now okay um be transparent with your team that was number three number four is eliminate all vanity projects i'm looking over here because i have all of my notes but eliminate all of the vanity projects um <laughs> So vanity projects, um, I am, my thing as an entrepreneur is once I get something solid and I built a system around it and it's just like on autopilot and just like doing its thing, then I always want to figure out how I can go from good to better and from better to best. And what's the next bigger thing out there? And how can we add this next layer? Not anymore. Not any freaking more. Now is the time for you to double down on the things that are already working. Now is not the time for you to create a merch line because your main product is doing so good. Absolutely not. Now is the time for you to double, triple, quadruple down your efforts on what is making you money. No vanity projects. None of that. If it's, if it's, a, if it's an idea and it hasn't been tested and it's going to take you a bunch of time and energy, you're doing yourself a disservice. You are playing yourself. You're shooting yourself in the foot. No vanity projects. Only focus on the dollars and cents in your business. If it doesn't make sense, then you need to stop doing it. Now is not the time for all of, like, if you have the luxury of doing that, great. This isn't the conversation for you, though. This is the conversation for small business owners that are trying to survive this thing because things are going to get really hard. We are literally just at the very beginning of the cusp of things. And I don't think, I know that most people don't realize how big all of this stuff is gonna get. So, so eliminate vanity, vanity projects. Then on to number five, which I think is the biggest thing that all of us need to focus on doing right now, that is pivot, pivot. You need to find a way to either make your business essential or make your business essential adjacent. So I know that um, I give a lot of hair extensions business advice. I know there are plenty of you that are making wigs out there. But what, what what's going to happen when the country has been shut down for three months, people are being laid off left and right, and they have to choose between what they need and what they want. Are they going to be like, you know what? I know my baby needs these pampers, but that $500 wig that I know she made by hand, I know I need it. No, like the, the wants, the extra stuff, the fluff, that's gonna be the first thing that's cut. So if that's what your focus has been on, you need to figure out a way to pivot and make yourself essential. I just talked about the, um, the t-shirt company that 
used to make t-shirts and then the law said unless you're essential you're not making anything what did they do after they were shut down bright idea masks are now required how can i transition what i'm doing with these t-shirts where literally no one is working literally it's against the law yesterday on the news the mayor of la was asking citizens to report businesses that are still open saying we need everyone's help we'll close them down because they're putting all of us at risk that's where we're at if you aren't essential you are eliminated so this company instead of just sitting there like whoa is me i don't know what to do they saw a need in the market they saw a need they saw a way that they could fulfill that and they pivoted from just clothing that nobody need, nobody needs another t-shirt, nobody needs another t-shirt, to something that people actually need to save their lives and they're surviving because of it. Um, so let's say um, if you're one of these people that are making ways, you should be making masks, 1000%. You should be sewing masks, 10 times as many masks as you might wigs. Um, what's another thing that people, fashion companies are making cloth masks as they should. Um, what is another example that we could use on how to make your business essential? Um, here in LA, I think the like daycares and preschools are me just being like, oh, woe is me. Yeah, of, of course you need to go online, but why not take the extra step of calling all of these places that have to stay open and say, hey, I, I appreciate what you're doing for our community. We're in this with you. How about we show up and we deliver your lunch to you every single day at this discounted rate? Then you become essential adjacent. That daycare, that preschool thing, what that thing, essential, now you, next to it, you're essential adjacent. Does that make sense? It's like the same concept where um, in, in the gold rush, they, Talk about how the people that struggled made money, but the people that made the most money were the ones selling the picks and shovels. Like you need to start selling picks and shovels. Maybe you're not gonna be the one mining for gold. Maybe you're not gonna be the one that's actually essential, but you can sell a pick or shovel. You can sell a sandwich to everyone that has to still leave their house. You can pivot and transition what your current offer is so that it is necessary to someone, somewhere. Like you just, if you guys would throw out some questions for me, I can ask, answer them live and give you guys my two cents on, on these things. But, um, but those are a couple of examples and I hope it drives that point home. So for me, um, <laughs> and it's why we're doing this, um, like straight shot, no edits, just having a conversation because our <laughs> our focus, if you see my videos that I posted so far this year, the focus for my team was building the channel to a million subs. Like that was the only focus that is a very long term revenue play, very long term revenue play. So instead of me just sitting here like, oh, well, I hope it still works out. <laughs> no, we that's that's not a luxury I get to do. So what are we doing? Pivoting pivoting from just showing up and providing content on YouTube to also creating a podcast and repositioning my platform for the course I'm going to be selling called the work from home course. The work from home course. It is very simple, straightforward, but everything, my channel banner, the name of my channel, all of that is going to be changing over the course of the next week or two. Why? Because I'm pivoting so that I can respond. But this is really irritating. My phone just keeps on going dark. Actually, I know how to fix it. Hold on, give me one sec. Heck, um, I don't have a video on how to come up with prices for hair. I don't think so, but we do send out our suggested pricing list. If you go to whitelabelextensions.com, we'll send that right to your inbox. <clears throat> oh yes, so the pivot. Instead of me working and hoping that this long-term content play is gonna work out, I'm pivoting and I'm doing something right now. I'm selling something creating a product to sell right now that I know will serve the needs of the market right freaking now. You can do the same thing. I know um, I have a lot of hair extensions entrepreneurs. You know how to sell. If you've been selling hair, you know how to sell. So what else can you sell? People are stuck inside of their houses. And I'm only gonna be sharing these with you guys because I'm not gonna be doing them. I already have a bunch of other stuff that I've been developing behind the scenes for the last few weeks. So. People are stuck in their houses. That means people can't work out. And I know I'm based in Los Angeles, so a lot of this is gonna be like kind of superficial, but that's just where I'm at. People can't work out, so if you can sell 
workout at home gear that would be super profitable the the demand is definitely going to go up because the people that actually work on their bodies they can't leave their houses anymore because they don't want to go to jail and catch the corona and all that stuff they need something to do they definitely need something to do health and wellness exactly Annalisha. so there's that um what else is really in like how can we get creative i had a um laser hair removal appointments i know that you need to do laser hair removal maintenance otherwise all of the work that you put in is undone so maybe uh, yeah if you can find a reputable supplier that has like all of the documents and certifications on and all of that stuff then definitely that might be something that you can provide to help all the people that are stuck at home that can't go and get these services that they used to. Definitely recipes. A friend of mine, um, she owns So So Good Cooking. <clears throat> that wasn't a cough. <laughs> a friend of mine, she owns So So Good Cooking and she has her recipes up there and she's just like punching out the content, knowing that people are at home, knowing there are people like me that I, I've cooked once I cooked once in the last year. I made toast. I made toast and it does count as cooking because I had to put the bread in the oven. Don't judge me. I focus on making money. I am not Susie home, homemaker, homekeeper. I don't even know the word. But that's, that's like what I'm talking about. If you have a passion, if you have an idea and you know that people need it now, now is the time for you to pursue it. Now is the time for you to pursue it, okay? Seriously. So show up to serve show up to serve with whatever it is that you're doing as long as you are showing up to serve so showing up to fill a need not necessarily vanity like <clears throat> there's pre-recession and there's now <clears throat> sorry and i know you guys remember back in 2008 when the housing crash it like everything was burning down around us it took obama like a year and a half to acknowledge the fact that we were in a recession do not think that just because Trump hasn't said it out loud, just because nobody said it out loud, like this is a recession. This is a recession. There's been way too much money in the system for a really, really long time. And this is going to be the thing. It is the thing that is tipping us over from that. I don't know if we can still sustain paying Instagram models $30,000 for nothing. That's over. That's over. There's been way too much money in the system for a really long time. The correction is about to take place. And if you can make sure that whatever you are creating is showing up to serve a need, people need to eat. People need these masks. People, people need education. Like all of that, get essential, get essential, get creative. Cause you're an entrepreneur. You are innovative. You, you know how to do the, I don't know. I'm doing a basketball move where they're like juke, juke. <laughs> it's not clearly I don't sport. Um, but you get where I'm coming from, all right? So then number six, after pivot, polish your web presence. That pretty much goes without saying, um, redirect your marketing budget to reflect your new, yeah, and redirect your marketing budget to reflect your new reality. On the first day of our lockdown, we live in downtown Los Angeles, we saw a mural being put up a mural that is a paid advertisement these outside billboards and all that stuff they started like fifty thousand dollars a month nobody's seeing that can you imagine that can you imagine that you know putting fifty thousand dollars into an ad that people are only seeing if they're breaking the actual law make sure that your marketing budget Again, we're doing that financial audit. Make sure that your marketing budget reflects this new reality where nobody leaves their freaking houses. So what does that mean? That means that you should be marketing on the places that people are actually at. Don't worry about all of these outdoor marketing thingies. You're not going to be out there spinning a sign. Nobody's going to be seeing that. But Facebook ads, Google ads, um, Instagram swipe up ads, all of that stuff. It is at, literally at your fingertips. These platforms make it extremely easy for anyone at any level of technology to be able to use. So check that out and make sure that you're not doing anything done with your marketing where you're hoping people will see it when, when they just won't because we're not leaving our houses. Um, so we're polishing our web presence up because that is the only place that exists for our businesses. I know that a lot of brick and mortar facilities, I know a lot of brick and mortar restaurants would do a very passive um, web experience. Now you need to go ahead and, and invest, <laughs> literally, 
you could get a phenomenal website done for less than 500 bucks easily less than a thousand dollars anything over a thousand dollars and you're just doing the most this is a recession and in your you're not getting it there's no reason for you to have to spend more than $500 on a website for it to be exactly what you want. Okay, so polish up that web presence. Seven, double down on local community in your marketing. Double down on your local community. So if you are a company in Los Angeles, everything that you say in your marketing should let people know that you are located in Los Angeles. Why? Because people out here want to support. We want to support our community. If I know that you are selling a mask and you're located in Los Angeles, like the Simply Air Mask Company is, if I know that you're located here and that you're giving back to, to the rest of the community and you're doing something for us, then I am much more likely to support you much more likely to support you over some random Swedish company or over some, some company on the other side of the country. Yes, we're all in this together, but local communities are showing up to help out one another and don't miss out on your opportunity to connect with your local community. Like really, people need this connection more than ever, guys. Like it's why we're going live for almost 40 minutes strong. Sheesh. Oh. I thought this was gonna be a little quicker. <clears throat> but hopefully you guys are getting value out of this. Can you do me a huge favor and hit the thumbs up button? It literally helps so, so, so much with the YouTube algorithm. Um, and just, if they know that you like it, they are more likely to show this video to more people. So please do me a favor and hit the like button. Thank you for that. I saw the number go up there. Okay, so double down on local community and your marketing um, for your content. Talk about coronavirus. Do not act like, and this is something like for me, I told you guys I was feeling um, not great. Like I am I'm an empath. I, I'm very porous to my environment. And it, um, when all of this started happening, uh, no, I'm not gonna start crying again. But I have employees in China and in India and in the Philippines and in Bangladesh and it's just really crazy out there. It's really, 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 really crazy. My cousin has coronavirus. What? Just celebrated, celebrated her birthday on Zoom two days ago. She has it right now. She's in the Bay Area. She's a an elementary school principal she has coronavirus she's like through most of it but yeah like tested pot just crazy stuff um my employee in bangladesh if you googled the number of deaths maybe they've updated it um but when i checked it after we had our conversation it said six deaths he knows 19 people in his neighborhood that have died in the last two weeks and and that's crazy but with your content, acknowledge what we're going through. Um, careful about your paid advertising. I know that this video is gonna be demonetized because it says coronavirus in it. And I know that if you are running certain ads on different platforms, you might be penalized for that sort of thing. But don't not acknowledge what we're all going through. Do not act like we are just living in, in just, you know, regular day, regular day. Here, let's talk about, let's talk about some hair extensions, guys. Don't do that. You are. And like with the videos that I've been putting out for the last week, it was just like, what? Like I don't, here's, okay, just a little off track. With YouTube, because I've been gone for so long, you have to build back up your reputation with the platform. You have to let the platform know that you're serious and to do that, you have to be consistent. Consistently posting, same days, same times, all of that stuff. So the, the only reason I kept putting out content while the world was melting down was because of that consistency thing. And then last week it was just like, no, we're not going to do that because it's tone deaf. It's tone deaf, which makes it brand negative, a negative brand experience. So instead of just being like, hey guys, ha ha ha, make it cheese with shirtless guys. Let me, huh? Oh yeah, let's talk about money. Like nothing's even happening. Like we're not going to do that anymore. I'm not freaking doing that anymore. I'm, I'd rather just not show up then show up tone deaf in a way that dismisses the pain that my audience is going through in a way that ignores everything that's happened it's just honor what is honor what is 
in your marketing. You don't have to be all negative and all that stuff, but you do have to show up. Show up, show up, show up. That is the ninth thing. Show up. You do get to choose your perspective. I know the first thing that I said when we started this video was give yourself grace. Do not beat yourself up if you've been sleeping later. Do not beat yourself up if you've been eating the sweets a little bit more and like taking a little more skin to the face. Guilty. It is what it is. <laughs> You get to mourn the life that we all knew however you want, but you need to show up. By the end of this week, you, you need to go ahead and dust yourself and get in the shower, girl. Get in the shower, do your hair, even if it is just for you, and get back on that bike or horse, however that goes. Choose your perspective. Um, you do get a choice in all of this. You can't control what is happening out there, but you do get to control how you look at things. Like I said, um, one of my team members that lives in Bangladesh knows um, almost 20 people that have died in the last couple of weeks because of coronavirus. He's showing up and he's all super positive and he's like, I hope you and your family are good. And, and, and then this part, he hasn't left, physically stepped foot outside of his house since March 18th. The only time they're allowed outside of their homes is at 5 p.m. to go onto the roof and walk around for a handful of minutes. Then they have to go. He has not stepped foot out that part. Know it like that stuff. It like when I first heard it, it was just like, all right, um, the next couple of days are canceled. I'm just going to stay in bed and cry. And then it's like, but how dare I? when he's living like that and he's choosing to be positive, he's choosing to continue showing up for me to help me make my dreams a reality. He's choosing that and he's actually in it. And here I am, um, my cousin does have coronavirus, but she's surviving. The people that I love are safe. And um, that's the choice that we have. And you can choose joy, you can choose love, and you can choose hope, and you can choose positivity, or you can choose all that other stuff. But it's 1000% up to you. 1000% up to you. And choosing a lower vibration just because it feels easier is only going to cheat you out of the growth that this opportunity is providing. And it's only going to cheat you out of the time that you could be putting into building something like quarantine and build not quarantine and chill no quarantine and chill if you need to but quarantine and build if you can so the last thing is move your body even like i just said he he goes up to his roof every day at five o'clock and he and he moves around and he just does what he can you need to be doing the same thing working out like just somehow work up a sweat you need to make sure that you're sweating every single day Every single day you need to break a sweat. You need to remind your body that you are alive. You need to remind yourself that you can do the hard things. You can push your body. You can do that. So of course you can do all this. Of course you can respond to these emails from all these concerned people. Of course you can then go ahead and slap on some makeup and do that hard thing that you've been avoiding. You need to move your freaking body. You need to get your blood pumping and you need to be drinking your freaking water. You need to be drinking your water, guys. This is a big cup. I gotta drink at least two of these a day and that's like the minimum. That's when I'm like, all right, so I showed up today. But when I'm like really trying to kill it, as many as possible. These two little things, drinking your water and moving your body will help you shake that depression. It'll help exact a body in motion stays in motion. If you need motivation, start moving your body. If you need like an external thing to get you out of bed, just start, just commit. If you are legally allowed to take a walk with your mask on, simplyairmask.com, then go ahead and do that. But you, you need to be moving your body. It is not okay to just like roll out of bed, then roll onto the couch and lay down horizontally and just click. You've watched everything on Netflix already. Netflix is done. Hulu, not interested. <laughs> not but um but yeah so those are my tips for the day if you guys have any questions then definitely let me know um i'm gonna i'm gonna finish the rest of this water and if i don't get any questions by the time we're done with this then that's gonna wrap up this live stream thanks to all of you guys for sticking out and hanging around if you got any value out of what i shared in this please 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 do me a favor hit like 
um, make sure that you guys are subscribed. And if you are subscribed and didn't get the notification that I was going live, hit the notification bell. Like I said, my videographer is not leaving his house because it's a misdemeanor if he does and he cannot risk and he just can't risk that. It's not worth it. So this is about as polished as the videos are going to be. I really enjoyed this live experience because I don't have to edit it. <laughs> Lazy. Um, if you're a gamer, get up and use those motion controls. I don't know what any of that is, but get up and move. I definitely agree with that. So I'm going to drink this down right here live with you guys. Maybe we should make this like a regular thing, how we end all of our conversations. Everyone grab your water. Everyone grab your water. Let's go ahead and hydrate together. Let's, let's do ourselves the favor. Drink a ton of water right now. What if, what if I drank water like a kid? You remember when I'm, when pivoting, do you create another company or work under this? <clears throat> So what I do, um, and because you're just creating another website, so you don't have to go through all of the filings and all of this and all of that. When you, so what I do is I build up these ideas on like a domain under my existing business. If there is any liability tied to my new idea, then it has to have its own LLC. But if it's just like a regular product, regular idea, until that idea makes enough to cover the filing fees and to cover the insurance and to cover my time and energy that I'm gonna have to be paying attention to like doing all of the same things that I do for this one and that one, until it reaches that point, there's no point in doing all of that extra stuff. Just do it under your existing business. So I'm gonna keep on drinking. If you have any more questions, go ahead and ask. I got two and a half more cups left. Let me know how things are in your area. Are you guys on official lockdown? Do I sound like a crazy lady? I remember two, three weeks ago when I did that first coronavirus video, like I titled it prepare for lockdown and half the comments, most of them I've deleted because this is my house, but half the comments were like, I can't believe you're fear mongering. You should be ashamed. And look where we're at fucking lockdown. So I don't know why, I don't even know where that came from. I don't even know why I started saying that. <laughs> oh yes, that's why, because I asked where you guys are at and what the state was where you were. Are you, um, are you allowed to leave your homes? We are in a state of emergency with stay at home orders in VA in Virginia. I worked um, in West Virginia, very different, but yes, Good, everyone should be staying at home. Um, is the South under stay at home orders? Dispensaries are still open. Yes, those are essential. And you know, I, I definitely appreciate that. I have been smoking copious amounts of weed. Do you recommend a business lawyer before your first $50,000? For what? Like, what are, you, what are you planning on doing that you, you need a... So I can't remember the name of this, um, the video that I did, but I interviewed a business attorney, um, a really, really, really high rated business attorney. And I asked him that question, when does someone actually need a business lawyer? And he said, as long as you get all like the filing stuff and set up your business the right way, if you aren't doing anything that would require any sort of like legal counsel where you're paying someone three, four, five hundred dollars per hour, per hour like what are you i i've made well over fifty thousand dollars and i don't have a dedicated business attorney but i do have someone on file the guy that i spoke to in that interview and a couple of other attorneys um that whenever i have a question or anything i just i then i pay for for their time but nobody is kept on um retainer that that would be crazy maryland's on lockdown i see that over there great advice Cleveland on lockdown, but you can go out to where? Where are you going in Cleveland? On lockdown. Mm -mm. You better stay at home. Ah, okay. Consultation, are that okay? Yeah, the stores are still open, but it's so eerie. I am um, live streamed on my Instagram. I'm not active on Instagram, not really a fan of that platform too much but um i was streaming through downtown on saturday um and our area is like popping like popping popping 
there's like nobody in the streets except for except for the people that sleep on the streets and and there there seem to be less and less i don't know it's just so ghost towny and weird and so quiet eerie eerie um who was it someone on my instagram was saying it feels like right like the scene in the horror movie when you're screaming at them to turn around like that kind of eerie is what everything feels like but um but this is the new normal um people think things are going to go back to normal i don't <laughs> you guys remember back in 2008 um and how i like the last thing i want to do are they trying to provide shelter for the homeless i'm i don't know i don't think anyone's i haven't heard of anyone like going out of their way or trying to do anything for for the homeless population ever since all of this stuff has been going on um homelessness is a massive issue in los angeles it's crazy like there's if you look on a map on like google maps or apple maps it will um it's not called tent city it's a skid row skid row is an actual place on a map that's how big it is and that's where our, a lot of our homeless population resides phoenix is on lockdown still working dispensaries okay all right hair store still open enjoy that get your supplies now get your supplies now there's one beauty supply store open in LA by appointment only only one person is allowed in at a time and you can't come in without your appointment like things are crazy and this is LA LA where people well used to need their wigs for events nobody's going anywhere dropshin gives me anxiety even though I know it's a must how did you get over that trust factor in business I know business biz gotta separate myself from the business um I don't do that I flew to China I partnered with a hair factory and I have a fulfillment center there and in the bay so I I don't know I think you just have to if a business has a great reputation then that's all you can go off of maybe do a few test orders and see how they fulfill them and if they earn your trust then move forward but um that's business it's trust you gotta have some some level of trust i gotta get through this water guys i gotta stay hydrated any other questions let me know and did you appreciate the live stream did you appreciate an opportunity to come and hang out and go live i would hope that we could build this to a thing where you guys are just like chatting in the comments and i'm like hey i want to be on the conversation but i guess i'll be like i think that would be so dope to build like a community where we can just like hang out in real time do our thing support one another we're all bosses most of us are women but we welcome anyone and everyone and we're all building towards our dreams and i know that I don't have many people around me that are in the same boat. So, so why not find that community here? What if I drink? <laughs> that's what i was saying earlier you know you were a kid you just get so thirsty what if i came in here and i was like <laughs> i need to end this live stream i'm losing it <laughs> but what i was gonna say is um I'm, I watched The Tiger King and I am forever changed. So in the next live stream, we're totally talking Tiger King. I have my green animal print pants. I have my leopard animal print top. I got my animal print boots. And I got a song I like to share. <laughs> so this is how quarantine's been treating me. But I will see you guys in the next live stream. Subscribe, hit your notifications so you don't miss it. But I love you guys. Um, I really, really, truly care about your growth and success, and I will continue showing up for you. Okay, love you.